Hey guys, it's BNB again and a new tutorial. This time we will see a special thing. Yes, I mean special because it's a robot. A line follower robot that I named it Picto92. And in this video I will teach you how to make it. So let's get started. Well, this is a short introduction about the main perps or let's say a general description of the robot. Name it line follower robot simply because it follows the black track that you designed for it. So we need two DC motors to make it move and for sure some sensors like the R transceiver to detect the line and follow it. Without forgetting the processing unit which is an Arduino Nano in our project but you can use other microcontrollers to be able to drive the wheels depending on the sensor signals and to do so we need an L293 motor driver which allows us to control the direction and the speed of DC motors. So if you want to make the robot turn left, you should slow down the left motor and speed up the right motor. The opposite case for turning right and keep both motors running at the same speed for forward movement. But how to find the black line? This is a great question. As you can see in this picture, the black color absorbed the infrared light, so we get a low logic level as output signal. So all what we need to do is to keep the middle sensor above the black line. And in order to connect all our components together, we need a PCB. So when we talk about PCBs, we directly mention the best PCB makers, which are the Easy Ada factory. And I will show you later how to make the appropriate PCB for this robot using Easy Ada platform. But now let's make some software design for the robot, I mean the robot mechanism, and to do this, I used SOLIDWORKS software to make the upper base and the lower base for the robot. So you can find in the description of this video the .dxf files if you want to make some CNC laser cutting and to get something like this. Beautiful, isn't it? Now let's move to prepare the PCB. So as usual, we need to run the Easy Ada platform, then start a new project and import the necessary components like Arduino Nano, L293 motor driver, the header connectors, etc. and connect them together to make this circuit, which is provided in the description of this video. After that, just click on Convert Project to PCB, then you will get your PCB design area. Well, I advise you to click directly the link that I provided to get the PCB automatically. Now let's take a look at the PCB before ordering it. Whoa, I think this will be awesome. Okay, now go to fabrication output, set some parameters. For me, I prepare the black color for my PCB. Do the payment and wait for the delivery. Five days later, I've got my PCBs. And it is really awesome. With the black color, the circular shape, the name of our robot Picto92 and all the tags that I've made. Actually, this is not the first time the Easy Ada impressed me. This high quality making was expected. Now we have everything in hand, let's make a review about the necessary tools. So we need the plexiglass mechanism, the PCB that we ordered from Easy Ada, two DC motors with two wheels, one Arduino Nano, four infrared sensors, one L293 motor driver, four LEDs, four 330 ohm resistors, 
some heater connectors and a 9 volt battery for power supply without forgetting some screws to make the assemble. Ok we are ready so let's start soldering the components. Ok let's power on the robot and I uploaded a test sketch that allows us to light up the red LEDs that indicates the motor power presence and the blue LED in the middle that indicates power supply presence. Yes a good sign out there we are in the right path. Now let's put in place the motors and the IR sensors.
all what we need now is the code to drive our robot. So I made this one for you my friends and as you can see the code is well commented so you can understand it easily and you can modify it to suit your needs. And I provided the download link for this code in the description of this video. Now let's upload the code, then place our Arduino in its socket. I made this black track here to test the robot. Well, I can't wait anymore, so let's power the robot and start the thing. As you can see, the robot reached the finish line successfully, so we can say that we made it. So guys, that's it for today. Feel free to thumb this video and to ask us anything you want to know about this project through a command. The last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BNB from Megadas. See you next time.